Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is the Global Stampin' Video Hop, and for the June Hop, each of us is sharing a tool that's a favorite. And for me, that means I'll be sharing the Stamparatus and some techniques on using it with you. So let's get started. So let me bring in my Stamparatus and... I've got my stamp on my plate already, and I'm using my, oops, Coastal Cabana ink pad, and we'll ink this up. Make sure you give even pressure across that stamp. It's a lot of solid surface. And then we'll do the hinge step here. So we're just going to bring it down one hinge and then I'm going to ink this and move one of my magnets here up here. This should have had just enough time to, to dry. And then we're going to stamp again. Again, you're giving even pressure all the way around. A lot of solid surface on this stamp. And bring it down one more and I'm going to move another of these up and ink and stamp pull up gently just in case you need to stamp again one more hinge down and we're just going to move a magnet again and here's our last one okay and then I will trim this little bit when I go to make the card so let's move our magnets down now and we're going to hinge step again Another of the beauties of the Stamparatus is that you can have two or more stamps set up. So I've got my Happy here. Let me close my Coastal Cabana ink pad and open up my Knight of Navy. And we're just going to ink that. And I've got it on here so that it's a little angled. And again, you're rubbing so that you get good contact. Bring it down one hinge. Now I want to move one of my magnets up. And that's okay that they're together. They used to be one magnet. Okay, and then just bring this one up here. Oop. And let's move this down one more hinge. Okay, and now we've finished this hinge step technique. So let me clean this up and I'll be back. So this is another reason that I love my Stamparatus. It's one of my favorite tools. We're going to put this piece of basic white in here and I've got this party puffin stamp that looks a little like he's dabbing and we're going to ink him up with memento but because there's so much flat surface area He often needs a second inking to get a really good solid color. And that's typical of stamps that have large surface area. Okay, see now he's good in black. Then since he's in my Stamparatus, I can use my grid sheet here. I give one of these and some other grids to uh, customers who purchase the Stamparatus with me and move my puffin over 
and let's do a test stamp here and see yep he's positioned where he's good and I'm just going to move my grid sheet out of the way and I'm also going to move my magnet there and let's ink this up so we get two reasons for loving the Stamparatus just with our party, party puffins here let's see if we got our black in the right area he needs just a little more if you see here so I can ink that up and stamp again of course multiple stamping in the same place is great okay and there we go so let me move this out of the way and we'll be back with more. Now, one of the other things that I love about the Stamparatus is that you can have your project done or almost done and have no fear, aka stamp confidently, right on the finished project. And that's what we're going to do here. So I've got my sentiment and that grid sheet that I love. And we're going to place the sentiment here in the corner and let's open this up now. I'm going to ink it and check to make sure that I'm straight. And stamp down on my grid sheet here. And that is straight. So now I can take that out and stamp directly on my finished layer or almost finished layer. I'm going to ink again so that it's just a bit darker. And of course, with the Stamparatus, you can ink multiple times and be in exactly the same place. Let me clean up from this, and we'll have one more technique. For this final technique using the Stamparatus, I'm going to use the In Symmetry stamp set to create a wreath. Okay, so I've got my Stamparatus, and I've already added one of my flowers from In Symmetry, and I've got a 4x4 four four square of basic white. And I'm going to ink with polished pink. I'm just not getting the bottom of that flower there. And then I'm going to turn this. I've got a grid underneath for wreaths that I send to my customers that purchase the Stamparatus. And then let's give this another turn. There's so many fun techniques that you can use uh, besides basic stamping with the Stamparatus. And I will link to a couple of those videos as we go through for techniques that where I use the Stamparatus and I have not showcased them here. Okay, so that's all of the larger flower stamp. Let me take this off and clean it. Okay, so I've cleaned my plate and added the little tulip uh, kind of stamp. Let me clean that polished pink that I just got all over my fingers. And we're going to ink this in Flirty Flamingo. And let's... Do the twist, the turn, for to add these. Okay, and now we're going to ink and stamp with it going the other direction. Okay, so since we've got two plates, we're going to finish this up using both of the plates. So we'll stamp our leaf and then use the bumblebee to add a flower. And then we're going to rotate this 
and I don't think I said, the leaf is in granny apple grain. flower and our wreath is finished and so let me take this out of the way so that's our final technique for my favorite tool for today's global stampin video hop please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your card making friends if you're in the United States, please do some of your Stampin' Up! shopping in my store. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can click the bell and you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Don't forget to click the link in the description below for the next video in the hop. Have a great day. Bye.